Hi students, I wanted to show you that MATLAB and Octave have some cool built-in numbers for us. These are predefined special values um, or constants that we can use for our computations. So the first one is pi. It's just lowercase pi. Um, it, the case matters actually. So if you type in lowercase pi, um, that's going to give you pi to 15 significant digits. It looks like there's only five displayed here. That's because it's truncated. To get the full number that's stored in memory, if you go over here to the workspace, double click on value, and this is going to give you all of the um, digits that are actually um, filled into that pi variable for us. Um, the next one is E, and that is 2.71, so we have all these digits for E. Um, to get back to the command window, if you notice down here, there's these tabs, so I click on the command window to go from the var variable editor. Um, there's also a tab for documentation, this is to look up how to do stuff, it's like um, a help menu. And we also have the editor, we're going to use this when we go to write our MATLAB scripts. But back over here on our command window, window where I like to do my prototyping, I'm going to show you the next one. Um, we also have i is defined as the square root of negative 1, and we have j, which is also the square root of negative 1. i is used for a mathematical notation, um, and j is for engineering, since i is reserved for current. The next one we have is inf, so it's a capital I and F, and this is for machine infinity. And you'll see this when you do some computation that is dividing by zero. So as this limit approaches infinity, the answer is going to give you this I and F. Um, the other one that you might get is if you do zero divided by zero, this is an undefined value. So you'll get this thing here. It's NAN. This stands for not a number. So it's capital N, little a, capital N is not a number. Sometimes this will happen if you forget to set a variable in memory or it's um, set to something unexpected or undefined. The other one we have is clock. So if you look here um, at the workspace, so clock is actually a list of numbers. Um, it's a one by six um, array basically. And so this means there's actually six numbers. The first is the year, followed by the month, followed by the um, day, followed by the hour, and, and there's minutes and seconds. And this is pretty handy actually if you want to keep track of your operations because this will be a timestamp. This is a, a unique number that doesn't occur again. Um, the other one that we have is the date and that's going to give you the current date and my octave just crashed. Hang on, let me pull it up again. Okay, there we go. Um, continuing on, we have EPS. So this stands for epsilon. So if we are, when we go to do numerical analysis, if we want to see if two values are really, really close as they start to approach each other, um, we're going to look for, we're going to be using this epsilon. So if it's within this small number, then we say, oh, they're basically the same. It's like close enough. And then um, the last one we have, which we talked about last time, is actually this ants. So this is a special variable that's used when anytime you do some kind of computation that you don't specifically set into a variable container, it's going to be automatically filled into this container called ants. And this gets reused every time you do some other operation, and it just gets overwritten with the new value. Um, so those are our constants that we're going to be using. When we go to use this as a calculator, for example, um, if you had a, um, a circle with a radius of 2 and you wanted to compute the area, you could do area, I'll make this lowercase, area is equal to pi times r squared. So to do squared, I'm going to use the little caret and then a 2, and that's going to give us um, the area. So we don't actually have to assign a value to pi, it's already there for us. And same thing for um, using E and when we go to do complex numbers with I and J. So let me know if you have any questions about that and I will see you soon.